Hello, hello, hello everyone. Oh my god, look at all this uploading we've been doing. It's so easy to upload frequently when you aren't making 40 minute videos every single time. Anyway, Benedetta is the latest film by Paul Verhoeven, the director of Robocop, Total Recall, and L. Verhoeven teamed up with the co-writer of L for Benedetta, a film about a French nun who enters a relationship with another nun. Ooh. This is apparently inspired by a real nun during the Black Plague. Knowing that this is a French film that that is also a period piece, that's also an LGBTQ love story, that's also about religion, you'd think that this film would be a dark, joyless, high-stakes drama in the highest order, and even though the stakes are high, and there are some really gruesome scenes that are thrown at you, Benedetta is actually way funnier than I thought it would be. It's so entertaining, and it has such a good sense of humor, which is kind of a theme throughout most of the films at this festival. There's a lot of sense of humor that goes along with even, like, some of the more darker movies that we'll get into later in the festival. The way that it uses the viewer's potential cynicism of the faith to have some very memorable one-liners, but also Verhoeven leads you into believing and not believing the events that take place. Even to the way things enter or exit frame, it feels like he's having his way with the audience, and it's really hard not to want to tag along and laugh. I mean, it's not as funny as bad luck banging or loony porn, but it's hilarious, and I think that's one of its strengths because if it took itself too seriously, I feel like Paul Verhoeven would have had to do a lot of work dramatically to try to make this film work because it could have been seen as like very trendy or even redundant but that's not what Benedetta is at all. The power dynamics are always shifting and unstable and calls into question what even is the point of organized religion in ways that you would probably expect and the ways that someone would undermine that power in ways you don't expect. The performances were really strong, especially from Charlotte Rampling. One of the actors who is unknown to me plays uh, the supporting character. I forgot her name. I'm gonna look it up right now, actually. I was supposed to do that in my review, but now it's says insert actor's name, so now I'm gonna do it live while I'm recording. <laughs> Daphne Patakia. Yeah, she gives one of the most blood-curdling screams I've heard in a long time, because what her character goes through in a certain scene, uh, you don't really see it. There's a lot of implied violence, and the actors really have to pull a lot of the weight, and she just nails it. My only real complaint is that I didn't feel emotionally connected to any of the characters, and there wasn't enough going on technically to impress me that would make up for my lack of emotional investment. Before I entered the theater, there were a bunch of Catholics outside protesting the movie. You might have seen this on social media, but if not, I will just tell you what happened. Uh, there was a line of boys and they were chanting. They did the Lord's Prayer in unison and they even performed God Bless America on the bagpipes over and over again. The boys that were forced to do this had this very obvious look of embarrassment on their faces as more and more people crowded around to gawk at them, take pictures, and laugh directly in their faces. It was an interesting thing to be a part of also, not a single nun was there, by the way, just in case you thought maybe the nuns were mad about the nun movie about nuns being gay. Nope, just men, boys, and presumably the boys' mothers in the sidelines. Anyway, it was overall a fun time, and I hope there's a protest outside of your theater when you get a chance to see it, and I'm giving Benedetta a 6 out of 10. I might give it a 7 in the future, I don't know yet. I'm gonna let it wash over me, I'll probably watch it again. If if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you agree or disagree, tell us in the comments. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share with your friends. Do all the things. The Matrix video is coming soon. Bye bye You have to get past the Avengers and Marvel shit at some point, okay? Other f***ing people make movies.